Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Good morning everyone and in this video we are going to discuss the current affairs for April 6, 2019 that is the current affairs for today. Also we have uploaded the spotlight for March 2019 that is the combined PDF and do not forget to download it from the website. Now moving on to the first question or the first news. RBI has reduced the repo rate by 25 basis point. What is the current reverse repo rate? Make note of this thing that uh, the question, the information is regarding the re repo rate. But I am asking over here the current reverse repo rate. The question asks about the current reverse repo rate. So the current reverse repo rate is 5.75. And what is the current repo rate? So after deducting or after reducing the repo rate by 25 basis point, it stands at 6%. And this was announced in the first bi monthly monetary policy by monthly monetary policy for financial year 2020 or financial year 2019 to 2020. So, for the first bi monthly monetary policy 2019 to 2020, RBI has reduced the repo rate to 6%. Earlier it was 6.25%. Now it has been reduced to 6%. The current reverse repo rate is 5.7%. What are the other rates? So, other rates are bank rates and the marginal standing facility rate. Mention your answer in the comment section below that what are the current bank rate and the MSFR that is the marginal standing facility rate. Moving on to the next question or the next news. Who has been appointed as the Google India Head of Industry Agency Partnership? The options are Kasuri Kanungo, Mayuri Kanungo. Aisha Kanungo, Deepa Kanungo or none of these. So as per this question that is Google India Head of Industry Agency Partnership Mayuri Kanungo who was the former Hindi film actress. So the former Hindi film actress has been appointed as the that is Mayuri Kanungo. She has been appointed as the head of the Google India Head of Industry Agency Partnership. And she has been remembered or she is always remembered for her performance in one of the very famous series that is Papa Kehte Hain. Moving on to the next question. So the question is, recently Hayabusa 2 spacecraft. Now this is very important. This Hayabusa 2 spacecraft, spacecraft is Japan's spacecraft. So recently Hayabusa 2 spacecraft dropped an explosive charge on asteroid. The name of the asteroid has been asked over here to carve out a crater on object. Now what is this story all about? So basically the Japan's Hayabusa 2 spacecraft, it has uh, dropped an explosive so that they could carve out a crater on the object and study that uh, material. And what is the name of the asteroid on which they, have, they want to carve out that uh, material? So the name of the asteroid is Raigu. So the scientists are expecting that a crater or the carve out uh, structure would be approximately 30 feet or 10 meters in wide. This is what they are expecting out of that Hayabusa 2 uh, explosive charge so that they could uh, study on that material and get more information about this asteroid Raigu. Moving on to the next news. So the question is as per the global burden of diseases study published in the Lancet, poor diets were responsible for? The question is asking about the uh, number of deaths being associated with the unhealthy diet. So if we talk about in, in terms of numbers, so one in every five deaths in the world is worldwide is linked to the unhealthy diet. This is what the study says. That is the study which is published by the Lancet and the study name is Global Burden of Diseases. Now the exact or the approx number. So now the approx number of deaths which are responsible because of the poor diets are 10.9 million or approximately 11 million deaths worldwide were there in 2017 which were linked to the people having a poor diet. Basically poor diet means which is high in sugar, processed meat, that too which is contributing towards the heart diseases, cancer or diabetes. This is all being found out by the global burden of diseases that 11 million deaths were there in 2017. If we talk about uh, the study in detail, then the 195 countries were studied in this uh, report. And if we talk about the diet related deaths, then Uzbekistan was at the first position which led to the uh, or we could say that the highest number of deaths were held in Uzbekistan because of the poor uh, diet. And the last one, the last one was Israel. 
what was india's position so if we talk about india then india was at the 118th ranks very very important so as per the global burden of diseases study published by the lancet india was at the 118th rank the first one or the country facing the highest number of death because of the poor diet that was uzbekistan and the last country was israel or us was at 43rd position britain was at 23rd china better than india at 140 uh, do remember the rank of india another question is recently some provisions have been given by the commodity derivatives advisory committee which was constituted by sebi in 2017 who is the head of the committee uh, now why this question as this uh, committee was actually constituted in 2017 but why the question has been asked now so recently they have given some recommendation regarding opening the commodity derivative segment which will be open to all the category of the institutional investors first of all let's talk about the recommendation which they have given that is commodity derivative segment and that too for all the institutional investors this is what exactly they have or they are trying to recommend to the government now who is the head of the committee or who has been appointed as the head of the committee which was formed in 2017 very very important girish chandra chaturvedi was the head of the or is the current head of the committee that is the commodities derivatives advisory committee and it was constituted by sebi in 2017 if you are preparing for sebi exam very very important to remember every information related to this so what earlier used to happen the retail investors were not able to actually access the commodity derivative market because of the lack of the knowledge and expertise therefore now they are believing or they are now they are want the inclusion of all these institutional investors and therefore recommended to open a commodity derivative segment for all the institutional investors the next question is which of the following country has proposed to imprison social media executives that do not remove hateful violent material now a bit of subjective question let's look at the options india new zealand australia france or china which country has actually proposed or they are passing a law very important thing is they are passing a law with respect to the uh, violent hateful material which is on the social media websites so it was proposed by australia or the law has been passed in australia they would soon pass it or make it an act that social media companies like facebook youtube twitter they could be actually fined up to 10% of the annual turnover along with the executives facing the jail term under this new legislation so what are the two provisions under this law that first the 10% of the annual turnover would be fined uh, would be kept as a fine and the executives the head of the those companies would be facing the jail term if they do not abide by the law so why this action has been taken very explicitly mentioned over here so that they do not promote the hateful violent material which is available on the social media uh, websites so to stop promoting these hateful violent material on the social media websites australia is passing a law that would actually cost or fine the companies with 10% of annual turnover along with the jail term the next question is who has been appointed as the md of ilfs very very important do not forget to study about the ilfs so who has been appointed as the uh, md of ilfs cs rajan has been appointed as the md of ilfs i won't be telling you about the chairman of ilfs it's already mentioned in these comments so you need to look up and tell me who is the current chairman of ilfs that is the infrastructure leasing and financial services we all know about the crisis of ilfs so day after when the former vice chairman and the md of the uh, ilfs was arrested the former md and ilfs of ilfs was hari shankaran after he was arrested the new md was appointed cs rajan what you need to mention in the comment that is the current chairman of ilfs do not forget to mention in the comment section below the last question is which aircraft crashed during the ethiopian airlines flight 302 crash this airlines is very much in news nowadays and it is very high chances that they might ask a question about this airline and the boeing company from which it originates or 
the headquarters where where are the headquarters of the Boeing located? Now, first let's answer the headquarters or origin of these this Boeing. So it is an American multinational. Remember this thing. And what was the name of the flight which crashed, or what was the aircraft which crashed during the Ethiopian Airlines flight three zero two crash? That was Boeing seven thirty seven Max. Eight, and it was the second disaster in the five months along with the uh, with this type of aircraft. Therefore, it is uh, very much in news, and we know that India too have participated in buying these Boeing seven thirty seven Max eight. So, if we talk about this Ethiopian Airlines flight three zero two crash, then they killed all the one fifty seven people who were on the board. That was a huge disaster which happened. If we talk about the rest of the countries, so suppose Australia. the australia civil aviation safety authority they have banned or suspended the operation of the 737 max if we talk about china they have also ordered to suspend the 737 max 8 flights the france have also totally banned these boeing 737 max 8 flights so this is all for the uh, current affairs for april 6 2019 If you have learned anything from the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel anuj jindal whatever questions i have asked you in the video do mention them in the comment section be participative so that you can retain the information whatever is provided in the video thank you so much for watching the video we'll be posting the next video soon